when I was a medical student. When we dissected the eye, I was quite literally amazed at how detailed and beautiful the organ of the eye was, and that started my interest. When I was in the eighth grade, my mom was diagnosed with a hereditary eye disease, and I just became really interested in the eye. I loved uh, patient care. Well, I chose to be an ophthalmologist because I was very interested in actually helping people live happy and satisfying lives. Other disciplines also make a difference, of course, but in ophthalmology, just the nature of the eye, we right. can see problems clear up front. It's the only place in the body that you can see a bare artery, nerve, and vein. It's amazing how something so small can have so many different um, specialties involved with it. Vision is the most important sense that we have. So the value of what we do as ophthalmologists, I can't think of anything that's more important. We are uniquely qualified to ask all the right questions, figure out what are your risk factors for, me, you know, for your eyes, and then make a recommendation how often you need to be seen and so forth. And at the same time, we'll talk to them about their general health. We're physicians. We have the training. The reason that I'm here is because I was in a surfing accident over the Labor Day weekend, and this is the result. I had today a visual field and some kind of a photograph that they take of the actual eye. I'm doing very well. So I tend to see a lot of patients with diabetes, macular degeneration. I do a lot of cataract surgery as well. The good news is in ophthalmology with the eye, we can do things. We have great drugs, surgical techniques, new innovations that can take patients who not that long ago we couldn't have helped. Five years ago, it was very common for people to go blind from macular degeneration. Now that we have the injections to treat certain forms of macular degeneration, many patients are saving their vision and even improving the vision. We have to have certain metrics that will allow us to, to measure the quality w without just saying we're providing quality eye care. We've been working on really trying to get information that our researchers develop and find out in the field of ophthalmology and eye diseases and get that to the ophthalmologist so that then they can incorporate that into their patient practices so that the patient gets the best possible care. The future of ophthalmology is really exciting. Everything from artificial vision to neuroprotection to new anti-infectives, we have a fantastic array of things before us, and so we will have a very, very strong place in the medical community. Of course, I'm biased, but I tend to think that ophthalmology attracts the best of the best, and we continue to do so, and hopefully we'll continue to do so into the future. As physicians, our ultimate responsibility is not to ourselves, it's not to society, it is to that patient who sits in front of us. Thank you, Dr. My pleasure. Oh, good. Come with you. Okay. I'm an ophthalmologist. I am a medical doctor. I'm an ophthalmologist. I'm a medical doctor.